Okay. Uh, the first time I did not have sex, I was 14 years old. I was at the school dance, and I'm sitting there near the record machine with my friends when Beth Wells walks in. And Beth Wells was this sporty blonde uh, who kind of reminded me of Peppermint Patty, but she had this great voice. And she comes up to me and she says, hey, pretty boy, love joy. Let's go out on the dance floor. And so she grabs me, and we start walking towards the floor. Now, I was very shy. She was very outgoing, obviously. Uh, we sat next to each other in English class, but I didn't even th think she knew me. And now we're going to go out and dance in front of, uh, you know, the principal, the school, God, and everybody. You know, so we go out there on the floor, and, uh, you know, they're playing the music. And I'm pretty confident because my mother, against my wishes, had made me go take ballroom dancing. So <laughs> I start slipping my hand around her waist, and she says, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> right? We're not doing that. It's a Miami Sound Machine. You need to get funky. And she, showed, <laughs> she showed me some moves, which uh, I'm not going to show you because I have a bad back. Um, I, I followed her as best I could, and we're out on the floor, and I thought, that's great, we're opposites, this is so romantic, it's like Romeo and Juliet, except for she doesn't know my family, and nobody's going to die at the end. So, we're on the floor, and we did a few more dances, and uh, the music's playing, and then the music stops. I thought, oh my god, i got to talk to her. I want to see something witty and romantic. Right? And so I say, Beth, I really liked your project at the science fair. <laughs> and she says, thank you, my dad did it. And she grabs me by the hand, she goes, let's go outside. And she says, you seem nervous. And she gives me this rolled up piece of paper, right, a joint. And I looked at it like a dog looks at a card trick. And she says, you never smoked before? And I said, no. She says, what else haven't you done? <laughs> and I didn't know what to say, so she gave me a kiss right on the mouth. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then she gave me another one. And then I gave her a kiss back. She gave me one, I gave her another one. We were kind of doing an exchange, right? And then she <laughs> took me back into the gym. And we danced a little more, and then she saw some friends, and she waved to them and went over, and she says, bye, Robbie, you're sweet, you know. <laughs> and I thought, well, this is love. Now we got to get married. We've kissed five times. <laughs> the next day, we go to class. And on Monday, well, Monday, we go to class, we sit down next to each other, and she smiles at me, and I smile at her, but we act like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. The second time I didn't have sex, I was in the keys of multiple <laughs> partners. I was in college by then, and my friends, Clarice Olivier from France and Monica, we had all taken a diving class, and this guy Andy was teaching the class. He lived at the college in the dorm. But he wasn't a student. This is how he made a living. And Andy looked like a bronze god, right? Like <laughs> Neptune without a beard, like Aquaman. <laughs> I didn't like him. And so, so we all got in the car. We drove down to Key West from Tampa. We went diving. It was absolutely gorgeous. The, go out, you know, the coral, the sea life. Since we were poor, we had to stay in tents. So after visiting Key West, we got into our tents. We only had two. And Andy had smiled at both Clarice and uh, Monica, but they weren't having it. So it was the girls in one tent, the three guys in the other, and this made Andy nervous. He's like, hey, you know that tent looks a little small. <laughs> and Olivia goes, boof, it's okay, it will be fine. You know, he starts taking off his pants, he goes, Andy goes, oh, hey. He says, no, it's okay, I'm French. And he goes, no, no, no. <laughs> and we need to sleep head to foot. So we get in the tent, and we're sleeping head to foot, right? Andy is in the middle. And so. Olivier's on one side, his head at Andy's feet, his feet at Andy's head, on the other side, my feet at Andy's head, Andy's feet at his eyes. I don't know why he thought that bringing his groin close to us would be better. <laughs> and when I woke up in the middle of the night to pee, we were all cuddling because it was cold. Right? Mm -hmm. And the next morning, we acted like nothing had happened. <laughs> the third time I didn't have sex, I had sex. I think. <laughs> After the trip, Clarice and I got close. She was tutoring me in French. I was helping her with her English. And so we got to talking, got to know each other, and eventually we just kind of smiled and looked at each other and uh, tried a tentative kiss, and we liked it, so we did another one, and we started hugging. And next thing you know, it's a little more pat. Now, you know, I was a man of the world. I had obviously kissed a woman five times. <laughs> and, uh, but I was still rather virginal, and to me this was like electric. And, you know, and suddenly her tongue was in my mouth, and I thought, wow, this is nice. Right? <laughs> and so I kind of followed what she did, like the dance, you know, and um, eventually it got more intense, 
and we kind of rubbed bellies a little bit, and then she made some <laughs> noise, and she shuddered and fell silent. And then she said, shut the door there. And I thought, I'm going to look that up. And, <laughs> and she left, and uh, I don't know what the hell happened. But we had a relationship afterwards, and that was the sweetest sex I never had. <laughs>